Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, Good evening. How was your day today? Fine? More or less? Okay, tell me, how was your day today? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? The ones that cannot get into the platform yesterday solve their problems. Hello. Can you hear me? Me pueden escuchar. Me escuchan. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, the ones that are here have any problems to get into the platform? Tuvieron problemas para entrar a la plataforma? No? No, teacher. Okay. Todos contestaron ya los primeros ejercicios. Yes. Okay. Today we will be finishing section one, but it's class two, okay? Now, someone to read uh, the thought for today, please. Edith, could you read the thought for today, please? Okay, teacher. Edu education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. Okay, thank you very much. What do you think about this thought? Ingrid? You can I say it in Spanish. Ok. Um, la educación no es el aprendizaje de hechos, pero es training, no sé qué significa. El entrenamiento. Pero es el entrenamiento de la mente para pensar. Ajá. Uh -huh. What do you think about that? It's true. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, remember that now, uh, on, on, still on my days, when there was no uh, we have no um, those electronic things that we have today, if you want 
to read something, you have to go to the library. And the libraries were not open 24 seven as some of them are today. Then you have to go to the library. You have to read the things that are there. And for my days, National University uh, has not the same amount of books that they used to have before the before the war because of my days we were in the middle of the war and then the soldiers get into the national university and they take away almost everything from from there so we have almost not all the information that is available now in a cell phone okay so um, for that days, teachers gave us the facts. Teachers uh, gave us the information because we cannot find that information as you can find it today. But today, what is important is not the facts, but know how to think because from all the information that you can get from the cell phone or from the computer you have to distinguish which is the correct information and which is not the correct information because not everything that you can find online is the truth okay so you have to distinguish that in our times, we also don't have all the truth on, on books because remember, the history is written by the winners. La historia está escrita por los que, la, por los que ganaron. Okay? And if you notice, most of the... Um, movies from World War II are movies from Hollywood, no movies from Germany, okay? <laughs> so if you, if you ever seen any movie about the uh, World War II, you can say, you can tell that, that um, all the German people is bad. And, Maybe some of the people were bad, but some were not. Because there were a lot of people that tried to help um, the minorities that were killed during that war. Okay. Now, and even Albert Einstein, he, he is Jewish, and he has to get away from Germany because he was Jewish during the Second War. That's why United States can make the, the, the atom bomb because most of the Jewish scientists had to move from Europe to United States. Now, lesson objective 1.8. In this session, modal verbs can and should will be introduced in a conversation. Okay, today I won't be struggle with, with the cell phone. I will do it myself. Okay, now, first just listen and, and then we will do it all together. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? 
Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. If you notice, I put some of the views that they are talking in the conversation for you to have um, some visuals of it, okay? Now, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's a very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, now, repeat after me. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Can you tell, you tell me a little about, 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 about Mexico City? Sure, I can. Sure, sure I can. Sure, I can. Sure, I can. Sure, I can. What would you like to know? What would you like to know? Like to know? Like to know? Well, What's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. I, I think, think you, you can, can go, go anytime. 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 The weather is always nice. The weather, the weather is, is always nice. Always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Oh, oh good. Oh, good. Oh, good. What should I see there? Mm -hmm. You should definitely visit the National Museum. Well, well you should well, visit the National Museum. Well, you should definitely visit the National and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And, and go, go to, go to the, the Palace of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. And what else? And, and what else? else? Well, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Oh, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. It all sounds exciting. Okay, now. Today we will be doing practice than yesterday because yesterday we had more more material than today. So first volunteers and then I will tell who will do it. Volunteers? Me, teacher, Katia. Okay, Katia, and who else? Me, teacher. Okay, Katia first, and then Anna. Okay, teacher. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? 
Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what is good? What a good time to visit? I think you can go any any time. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should be, be finally visiting. Definitely. The, definitely. 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 Definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers, please. Me, Me teacher. teacher. Me. Okay. First, uh, the the um the guy and then the the girl, please. Me teacher. Okay. Yeah. Mister, you say me. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what shall I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum. And Sorry. And go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? You shouldn't listen to the Pyramid song. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Exciting. Really exciting. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers, please raise their hands for, for me to see. Me, teacher. Okay, Dina. Who else? Me. Okay, go ahead. Dina, you first. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, that's a good time to the visit. I think you can do anything. Your weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely beside the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what also? Oh, you should miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It's all sounds really exciting. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers, please. Me, teacher. Elmer, okay, go ahead, yes. Elmer. And Reina, do you want to? Help us. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What do what should you like to know? 
Well, what's a good time to visit it? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. Um, what shall I see there? Well, you should defini definitely visit the National Museum and go, go to the Palace of Fine Arts. Arts. And um, what else? Oh, you should miss the pyramid of the song. It's very interesting. It's all song really ex ex exciting. exciting. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, William Liborio and Daisy Sarai, could you help us? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? So I can what would you like to know? A good time to visit. I think you can uh, go anytime in the world. It's uh, always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of the Art. And what else? Oh, you will show me the pyramid of the sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Maria Magdalena and... Carmen Guadalupe. María Magdalena and Carmen Guadalupe, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Um, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, so I can. What well, you like uh, to walk to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I dream you can to go anytime. The, uh, Water is a white nice. See you, go teacher. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. And what shall I see there? Well, you I should definitely visit it. The National Museum uh, and go to the Palaces of Fine Arts. And what, and what else? <laughs> oh, you, as well, my paradise or oh, the zoo, it's very interesting. It all sounds really excellent. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers. No volunteers? Okay. Me, teacher. Okay. Do it. Okay. Yes. Yes, I saw that. Jessica and Marisol. Okay. okay, first Jessica and then Marisol. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? 
Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what shall I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the pyramid on the sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, thank you very much. Now, in this session, modal verbs can and should will be taught in order to ask and answer questions. Okay, uh, the modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We also can use it to ask for and give advice. The modal verbs are can, could, may, might, must, show, should, will, and good. And sometimes we can use the ones from, from the left, uh, like in the present, and the ones on the right, like um, a possibility or past tense, okay? But they, they, that's why I put them like, like that. Because can, could, may, might, must, has no past. Shall, should, will, good. Okay. Now, we use models to show if we believe something is certain, possible or impossible. My keys must be in the car, certain, must, okay? I, it might rain tomorrow, possible. That can't be Peter's coat. It's too small, impossible, okay? Certain, possible, and impossible. Now, repeat after me. My keys must be in the car. My my It might rain tomorrow. It might rain tomorrow. That can't be Peter's coat. It's too small. It's too small. We also use them to do things like talk about ability, ask permission and may request and offers. Okay, I can't swim, this ability. I can't swim. May I ask a question? That's asking for permission. Uh, most of the people is teaching now that you can say, can I ask a question? In my time, we don't use can for asking uh, permission. We use may to ask for permission. And we use can for ability. So if you ask me, can I do this or that? And then I will say, I don't know, show me, okay? Because you are not asking me for a permission. Then to know if you can do something or not, you have to show me, okay? When you ask for permission is may. May I ask a question? May I go out? May I take the cell phone call, okay? You are asking for permission with may, okay? Now, could I have some tea, please? That's a request. Mm -hmm. Could yeah. I have some tea, please? 
Would you like some help that's making an offer? Okay. Would you like some help? Would you like some milk? Would you like some water? Okay, you are offering. Okay. Now, repeat after me. I can't swim. I can't, I can't swim. swim. In this case, it's negative. That means that you cannot. You don't have the ability. But you may say, I can swim. Puedo nadar. Okay. I can swim. In my case, I can swim because, uh, well, I, I learned to swim and I also know how to get out, get out from the sea because I was taken by one of the children at Costa del Sol and I get away from it without any help. <laughs> so I can swim. But the good thing is that a week before that happened to me, I was talking with a friend from, from church and he was um, the, the ones that made El Paso del Hombre, okay? From, from the Red Cross. He was a, a, a big watch. And then uh, he told me what you had to do in order to get away from the sea. First, don't panic. Second, try to see where is the beach. And then don't, don't fight against the current, but Try to swim with the current, but trying to go to the beach, okay, not to the open sea. And then you have to, when, when you feel that you are not longer in the current, you let the waves take you out uh, like surfing, okay? And that's what I did. But I came out from the beach about five kilometers away from where I was taken. But I am here, so I can swim. <laughs> okay, now, may I ask a question? May, may I, I ask, ask a question? question? Could I have some tea, please? Could I have some tea, please? please? Would you like some help? Would you like some help? Okay. Uh, repeat after me. What can I do in Mexico City? What, what can, can I do in Mexico City? City? City. You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can visit some museums on Monday. You can visit some museums on Monday. You know what that happened with me. One day we wanted to go to a Cara Sucia in, in, what's the name of this thing is, Sitio del Niño. We want to yes. go to Sitio del Niño. And we went on Monday and it was closed. And we say, wow, we got all from San Salvador to, to Sitio del Niño to visit that thing and it was closed, we didn't know. <laughs> okay, now, what should I see there? What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. 
You should be Okay. Now this is the interrogative form with modal modal auxiliaries. A WH question, modal, subject, verb, in question mark. Okay. Now, where should we go? Okay. Repeat. Where should where we go? Should, where should, where go? should, where should we, go? Go? we go? Where can we go? Where, where can we go? We go? Okay. Mm -hmm. You may do any questions using the formula, okay? For example, you may say, what should I see? Okay, it's the same formula. W is word, modal auxiliary, a subject and verb. What can we see? Okay. That's why I gave you formulas. You may change the things there and you are doing something else. Now, this is the affirmative form, okay? Subject, modal verb, verb and complement. We should go to a museum. Repeat, please. We shall go to a museum. We can go to the pyramid. We can go to the pyramid. Uh, this is negative form, okay? Is subject, modal verb, and not. Plus the verb, plus the complement, okay? The modal auxiliary is the one that has the not after it, okay? We shouldn't go to a museum. We shouldn't go to a museum. We can't go to the pyramid. We can't go to the pyramid. Uh, models do not take final S. That means that they don't have uh, uh, the verb uh, agreement, okay? For the third person singular. And the main verb neither take the S after, after the modal auxiliary. For example, he should go to a museum. If we don't use the modal auxiliary, we have to say he goes to a museum, okay? But when you use the modal auxiliary, nor the modal auxiliary or the verb had the agreement for the third person singular, okay? Any doubts about this? Alguna duda sobre esto? Normalmente cuando hablamos tercera persona del singular en forma afirmativa, el verbo va con el agreement del verbo, que sería es en este caso, goes, ¿ok? Pero cuando estamos ocupando el modal auxiliary, ni el modal auxiliary ni el verbo llevan tercera persona del singular, ¿ok? ¿Se entendió? Okay. Maria shouldn't drink beer. Maria shouldn't drink beer. Maria shouldn't drink beer. Maria shouldn't drink beer. Okay. Uh, this is a set. Okay. Affirmative, negative, interrogative. Okay. This is a set. With should. I should visit my parents. I shouldn't visit my parents, my friends. Who should I visit? Okay. 
Affirmative, negative, interrogative. Now. When you have here in... When you see the, for example, uh, the video and they comment something about the discussion box, you have to add here. ¿Están bien? ¿Han escuchado que en algunos de los videos le dicen uh, write something on the discussion box? When they told you about the discussion box, you go here and it says, añade una publicación. Then you click here, and discussion, okay, it's a discussion. Then here, where it says, uh, uh, where it says titulo or title, titulo, you put your name, in my case, mine. Sorry, I have capital block. Okay, and then here you write what you were request to do here. Okay, and then when you finish, you send it. Okay, entendieron? Como se trabaja los discussion box? ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, entonces ahora ya saben, ¿verdad? Cuando les hablan ahí de las discussion box, ustedes ponen añadir, ponen que es una discussion, ponen su nombre en el título y aquí escriben lo que sea que les pidieron que hicieran. Ok. Yo no mandé nada porque no soy, no soy alumna pero les tenía que enseñar cómo es que se hace. Now. Okay, this is a set. They ask you to do some set in that discussion box. Now, knowledge check. Uh -oh. Esta de necio no quiere. Okay. Uno, dos. This is the knowledge check. Okay, complete these conversations using can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Okay, now uh, open your your check, your knowledge check in the platform and work on it, please. I will give you five minutes. And then we will check. If you have any doubts, ask.
Norbert number one, teacher? Yes. I cannot, I can't decide anywhere to go on my vacation. Yes, it's okay. Now, someone uh, to, to tell me number, number, well, number one B. You should sure. go to the India. It's my oh. favorite place to visit. Okay. Two. Now, number two. Sure. Two. I'm planning, read number two, two A. I'm planning. I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I should go? Okay. Now to be. You should go anytime. You go anytime. You should go anytime. The water is not year. Okay. Now three A. Sure. sure. I arrive I a car. I arrive a car when I arrive in Cairo. I arrive in Cairo. What do you do recommend? No, you? Sure. 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 If you use the service. The payment. Okay. Now, number four. Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? Okay. Or B? You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't miss the weekend market. Weekend market. Okay. Now 5A. What can I see? What can I see? You? You can see all of Paris. All of Paris. But you can see it. Bad water. You can see anything. Okay. Okay. See, you are perfect. Now, okay, again, uh, Marisol, could you read 1A, please? Okay, teacher. Um, with people? 1A, with the, with the answer. Okay. Uh, you I... cannot read well. No lo puede I'm, ver bien. No. No, Pero, teacher. Permítame. Voy a, querer, a intentar hacérselo más grande. Vamos a ver. Yes, teacher. Ok. Okay, now. I, I can't decide where to go on my vacation. Vacation, vacation. Vacation. Okay, thank you. Now, Andrea Michel. Andrea Michel Garcia. She has problems with the audio. Okay, uh, Eraidin, could you help us? Mm. One B. Yes, teacher. One B. Eraidin. Hello. I'm thinking, teacher. No, it's here. You already have it. Ah, sorry. You should go to <laughs> India. It's my favorite place to visit. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Edith Araceli. 
Tuesday. ¿Cuál, teacher? Tuesday. Okay. I am I am planning planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I shall go? Okay, I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. Where do you think I should go? Okay, now they see Sarai Perez to be. You sure go anytime in the world is nice or your. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Maria Magdalena. 3A. Uh, show a rent a car when I ride in Cairo. What do you recommend? Okay, thank you. Now, Johanna. Okay, Marisol Varga. Yes, teacher. Three B, please. No, you show definitely, definite, definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. 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 Okay. Efficient. Definitely. Definitely. No se lee la, la E, okay? Definitely. Ah, uh, no, you definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. Efficient. Okay, efficient. thank you very much. Now, Carmen Guadalupe. For A, please. Miguel Ángel Quintanilla, for A, please. Where can I get some nice, generally in Bangkok? Okay, thank you very much. Now, Mr. Oscar Armando Cruz. Do you sell the, see, you sell the, you see the wicked market, which is the, the best place for the bargains. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Ricardo de Jesús. 5A, please. Uh, what can I see from the Eiffel Tower? Okay, thank you. Now, Dina Elizabeth. You can see all of Paris, but in bad whether you can't see anything. Ok, thank you very much. Vaya, este, ¿ya, ¿Ya copiaron todas las respuestas? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok. Now let's continue here. The pronunciation of can and can and shouldn't. Okay. Vamos a ver si se puede escuchar. Pronunciation. 
¿Lo pueden escuchar? No. ¿No lo pueden escuchar? No. No, no teacher. No, teacher. Permítanme, voy a ver si puedo hacer aquí más guía. Vamos a ver si lo puedo usar por aquí. No me lo muestra siquiera. ¿Y ahora? Es que algunas veces como que no lo permite el Zoom. Vamos a ver ahora. No, teacher. Nation. Can't and shouldn't. Part A. Listen and practice. Ahora sí lo escucharon? Yes. Sí. Yes. 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 Yes, teacher. Yes, Hello. teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you yes, hear teacher. it now? No. No. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. ¿Me pueden escuchar? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. ¿Y escucharon el, 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 lo que les puse del audio? Fuerte y claro. Yes, yes. Bien, entonces yes. así nos vamos a ir. These statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News. Okay. 
Now repeat after me. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You can't go shopping. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You shouldn't swim, you shouldn't swim at the beaches. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You can't You shouldn't miss the night market. Nice, Marcus. Now, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, because I yes. cannot hear you. Don't know what happened here. Okay, now repeat after me. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night market. You shouldn't market. Again, you can't go shopping on Sundays. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night market. You shouldn't miss the night market. Okay. Pronunciation. Can't and shouldn't. Part A. Listen and practice these statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go sh Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all for today. I will send you the, the PPT to the WhatsApp. And if you have any questions, write me on the WhatsApp. Try to continue with the, with the lessons with uh, section number two. And always practice what you have learned, please. And if you have any questions, uh, I am there in WhatsApp for you. Okay, anytime. Take Teacher. care. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, Teacher. Bye, Teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 bye.